Hello there everyone, back in San Diego for San Diego Comic Con campus videos tips. This time we are checking out some places that offer some great quick service options, that's grab and go, counter service, things of that nature. Uh, it's I think one of the most requested videos we've had over the last couple years, so it's time to finally jump in and do it. And so we're starting out here at Lolita's at the park, right over here adjacent to Petco on the back side. We're on the corner of 10th and Park. And we figured we'd start here because if you follow along on social media, you knew we were going to stop here anyway. It's always a must stop for us. We love it. Great prices. We actually just got done eating there. We'll show you real quick what the food looked like in terms of our taco salad and a taco. Two people eating, sharing a drink, less than $25. Great service, fresh salsa bar, all that. So we're going to give you a quick look at that and then we're going to start making our way around to show you more options here in the San Diego campus for some fun food spots. <laughs> Staying in the Petco area, if you're on the back side of the park there between 9th and 10th on J, you'll find a 7-Eleven there. There's also the chicken cones. There is uh, the coffee spot here and the Greek uh, grab and go next door. I'm sorry, counter service next door. We've heard good things about most all of these, including the 7-Eleven actually being really efficient and kind of well stocked and all that. That said, None of these are kind of in our loop of the San Diego Comic-Con campus normally, so just want to include them so that you know they're there because arguably this 7-Eleven could be closer for you than the other one we're gonna show you over on Fifth and Island. All right, so if we head down Fifth and make our way to Little Pass Island, we've got a 7-Eleven that we know a lot of people make as part of their stuff. <laughs> All right, as we step outside of 7-Eleven, you can see the convention center down there. So we've made our way to Island. You've got our 7-Eleven. And then for frame of reference, kind of wanted to give you that. But down at the end here, a quick left. And that's about as far as we'll go. And then we'll make our way a lot closer to the convention center. The new Prince Street Pizza. We did a separate video all about it a couple months ago as a San Diego Comic-Con food option. It's definitely worth checking out. So uh, worth a little bit more of a walk. And we're going to head there right now down Market. So so between 5th and 4th, we've got Prince Street Pizza, so we did a separate video of it. We'll throw uh, a look at in the inside there, but we tasted the food and all that. They've added a little bit of outdoor area to kind of congregate since our last time here, but highly, highly, highly recommend. I think this will be a really busy spot, but a really good spot. So the busyness may not fit with the quick as much, we'll see, but I think a lot of people are going to make their way out to Prince Street Pizza this Comic Con. As we make our way back towards the convention center, you do have CVS here. We don't hear as many people talk about it, but they do have a selection of sandwiches and some uh, easily microwavable items if you have that in your hotel room, etc. And again, making our way back to the promised land, the convention center. Just a few blocks down from the Marriott, if you make your way to Market, you'll find the Ralph's, fairly famous Ralph for San Diego Comic-Con attendees, a common place for many. It's really one of the best Ralphs I've ever been into in terms of like pre-made food and things of that nature. So we'll give you a quick look. As we step right outside of Ralph's here on First Avenue, we've got an Earl of Sandwich. If you've never been, we absolutely love Earl of Sandwich. It's one of our go-to places at Downtown Disney. At Disneyland, they've got really great sandwiches and soup and uh, even pizza, flatbreads, things like that. So highly recommend if you're making your way out this way, giving them a shot. All right, adjacent to the convention center, of course, we have the Marriott Marquis. And we did want to just point out, we have used their uh, grab-and-go kind of area up the escalator right here a couple times. It is a bit pricey. But uh, it's worked well when uh, some late night options have been like either closed or uh, just everything's been too busy. So let's take a quick look. All 
All right, so Exchange Pantry is exactly what we were talking about here. Actually, it's some pretty decent-sized pizzas. I mean, obviously, everything's gone up in price this year, so I don't recall what it was even last year, but uh, looks like it's $18 right now for, like, a pepperoni pizza. But they were good and shareable for two people. Uh, there was, like, the hot dog stand that's popped up. It looks like that's not going to be... It is a luxury vending spot coming soon, so not sure if that's going to help out for our quick eats category here. All right, we've made our way over to the Hilton Bayfront here, and they've been pretty good over the years about finding creative ways to get grab-and-go options like breakfast burritos and things of that nature, whether it's outside or inside. So keep an eye out for that. We're not sure where those things might pop up, but also a big favorite for us any time of the year is Sweet Thing San Diego. So as soon as you make your way across the street here, you'll start seeing some of the signs for Sweet Things Frozen Yogurt. They do have an online ordering system there that is massively helpful during Comic-Con season or any busy season. Obviously, also the Starbucks next door. But again, we stop by here pretty much no matter what time of year because they make some great treats. One last quick note on the bay front. We've got the cannery here, marketing supplies. They've got coffee, chips, snacks, all sorts of things. Uh, tea and then a nice little seating area back here as well. It can be a great grab and go option for some quick treats. All right, making our way to what's pretty much the center of the San Diego Comic-Con campus here where NBC Universal will set up their off sites oftentimes in the past. Baja Ricks, no longer Tin Fish, obviously Baja Ricks. We've enjoyed them. I think we've only been there maybe once since they've taken over, but we, we enjoyed it. Seemed like similar pricing on the food, again, with the economy and what it is and inflation, all that, all things have gone up, but seemed about, about the same. They have great counter service um, options there. Everybody seems really nice. They have free refills on soda, which is a positive as well. So it's just a kind of a nice spot. You can't beat its location. That said, when we're talking about quick eats, it does have a tendency to get pretty busy during Comic-Con. So it might be something that's more pre-Comic-Con or the later or earlier hours uh, your mileage may vary in terms of how long those lines get but definitely something to keep an eye out on I know also we'd love to see them get like a full takeover again like the old days of tin fish but we'll see what comes there but definitely keep your eye out on Baja Ricks All right, the Omni, one spot to keep an eye on here, some changes at the Omni. We've really enjoyed when they've had some outdoor eating opportunities here and they've used kind of this side seating area. We've actually done a lot of celebrity uh, watching from this walkway here, coming from the Omni to wherever they're gonna be located over at the con. But that's been kind of hit and miss over the years of whether or not they even offer that. But the Omni this year does have some new food offerings in terms of kind of the quick service side. So we're gonna take you in just to kind of get a little bit of a feel for that. I hope the outside uh, pop-up stuff comes back, but not sure. If it does, I'd recommend giving it a shot. So currently it's only open for breakfast and lunch here, so it's closed, but it's kind of a grab and go coffee bar area with some seating there. Nothing too fancy, but something that could be helpful in a pinch. All right, two quick notes before we get to our last stop, which is one of my favorites actually. One, these no vending zone uh, signs are up all around the gas lamp area. So I know a lot of people have chimed in uh, in the past about how much they love buying from the street food vendors. Not sure if it'll be allowed, maybe no problem at all, maybe certain areas, maybe certain hours, but just kind of an FYI warning. The other thing is, if you're wondering, like nothing in Seaport Village, we do like quite a few things over in Seaport Village. We're gonna do that as its own separate kind of video there. Um, so we'll actually be doing that as a live in the next week, so you can find that on our YouTube channel. So that's it, let's get to our last spot, which is we're right here at the Hilton gas lamp. And if we go behind it, Cine Cafe kind of a liquor store despite the name but some of the best sandwiches breakfast and lunch type sandwiches we've had they have an incredible blt they've got an incredible couple different egg sandwiches the bacon is so crispy and good the service is always amazing the prices are always amazing last year we had this as one of our exclusives for our patreon people over on uh, our Parks and Cons crew and so this year we thought well let's just go ahead and share with anybody that's not aware of it already 
Cine Cafe a whole lot more than just a liquor store. All right, so we're gonna wrap up there with the menu. We've got that egg sandwich, it's $8. Comes with scrambled eggs, choice of ham, bacon, sausage, American cheese, so, so good. The BLT, bacon, lettuce, tomato, mayo, $8.50 for a half or $12.50 for the whole. Uh, really good, really filling, great stuff. So love them, support them. They're great, great business. Can't recommend them enough. So with that said, we're gonna wrap up this video. We thank you for tuning in. We've got a lot more Comic-Con content coming on the lead up to the con, as well as while we're at the show. So check out our YouTube channel for that. Also, you can find more on our podcast channel and of course, social media. We're everywhere at Parks and Cons. So I'm wrapping up here for some quick eats and the gas lamp. Until next time, we'll see you online somewhere.